So I finally got around to building a couple of test jigs to test my B data logger boards. My B data logger boards are an ESP32 that has a built-in real-time clock, an SD card slot for storing the data that you collect, stem connectors, battery charging circuitry, uh, battery voltage monitoring, you can detect when a USB is plugged in, a uh, host of uh, GPIO broken out, um, a second LDO, so a whole bunch of features. And in order to test this before I ship them to a customer, because I want to make sure everything works on a, each board, uh, the testing process was pretty manual. I'd have to do it all by hand. Um, it was very time consuming, and I couldn't do anything else while I was testing a board. It was test that one board, and that was it. So with these test jigs, what they do is they go through and they'll actually test all those features that I just mentioned and then give me a pass-fail of whether or not uh, the board is passed or not. I even have it uh, printing off to an SD, or not an SD card, uh, printing off to a receipt printer, if I can get that to focus, uh, if, if it faults something. So this one I couldn't find the USB, which probably just means I have a little jump jumper bridge, solder jumper bridge, can't speak, on the USB. But then it tells me what it is I need to rework. Usually it's pretty simple, but it's nice to know that. So, uh, let me load up this one. The other one is already loaded. And it changes from no board found to it found a board. <clears throat> and let's race on. So, I'm going to start. Same time. Let's see what happens. And then I just kind of quickly flash what's passed on the screen. It'll also tell me what doesn't pass if something fails. And that one finished in 45 seconds and this one finished in 47 seconds. So under a minute and I can do two at a time. And so that'll be really fast. So I'm very excited about these. There's still some code and tweaking I can do to them uh, to improve them a bit. But uh, for the purposes of this, uh, they work pretty well. So they'll test the SD card, they'll read to it, they'll, or they'll write to it, they'll read to it. Um, and make sure the SD card mounts. They'll test the RTC. They'll test uh, all the GPIO. They'll test both voltage regulators, test the voltage monitoring, and test the USB detection. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Obviously the ESP32 module. So it runs through all those tests. And then when it's done, it will copy a test file to each individual board because I'm putting circuit Python on these. So when you plug it in, uh, you can open up the test result and see when it was test and see everything that passed and all that fun stuff. So I'm really, really excited about these. Hopefully this will speed up the process quite a bit because um, testing boards is usually the most uh, monotonous thing, especially when you're doing it manually, you're trying to test hundreds of boards at a time. It can be quite time consuming. So in any case, I'm really excited about these. Uh, stay tuned. I, I don't have these up for sale yet, but they will be soon. I need to go through and um, do some production stuff on... Uh, make actually make a bunch of them. I have a couple small batches made, but I need to make a lot more. So in any case, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.